Hey guys, it is Dwayne here from Dewey HQ, and today I'm here talking about Halo 5 and how the campaign could have been better. I'm not going to completely bash the game, like, because a lot of people I've seen that have been doing reviews and all that, they've just completely bashed it. I'm not going to do that. Like, I will note some things that I did like. You know, uh, the gameplay is quite smooth because they wanted to go for that 60 frames uh, constantly, which is which is good, and that's a good thing. Um, not so sure about the split, uh, the split screen multiplayer situation though, kind of an, yeah. I did like that they balanced the Promethean weapons a lot more. It was really nice to see that they were either not just useless or overpowered, they were just kind of in the middle, which where they should be. Uh, the graphics are really, really nice uh, all throughout the game. It looks pretty good, it makes use of what the Xbox One hardware should do. And uh, the music was quite nice whenever it was present throughout the campaign. I did enjoy that. There was a couple of missions where you were like, yep, there's some really nice music here. Not as not as epic as the, um, the original music from like Halo 3 or Halo 2, but still pretty up there. And it was pretty cool to explore some new environments, um, especially towards the end of the game. You run into some really cool environments. I don't want to spoil that for spoiler reasons, but it's about mission 12 or 13. There's some pretty cool graphics. Oh, Pretty cool environments you can explore. This is where I'm going to hit spoiler territory, so if you guys haven't finished the game or you don't want to know anything about it, I just suggest you go watch a video on the cutscenes because it's not that long, full stop. Um, but if you're hanging on to the game, come back to the video, I don't mind. Yeah, it's, it's not a terribly long campaign, so hands down, not the best. It's not the best in the Halo series. My personal favorite is number three, but apart from that, um, I'm going to be running into the spoiler territory. So, the main issue with uh, Halo 5 at the moment is that the marketing team kind of promised a Chief versus Locke scenario where that barely happens whatsoever. You get a cutscene around the fourth or fifth mission where they just kind of flail around and they just swing their arms like toddlers and kind of Chief kind of gets grazed by Locke and that's about it. That's the only kind of Chief versus Locke thing and I was very disappointed in that cutscene. It was just like, well, what was the point of that? What they should have did was focused on the whole Chief versus Locke aspect. Uh, Locke's team probably should have been told uh, that uh, Chief's team has gone AWOL for unknown reasons and only are officially declaring them all missing in action Spartans, like how they were promising and like hunt the truth and all that type of stuff. At the center of the game should have started around Captain Del Rio, which was the um, really annoying dude in Halo 4 who got like... You know, his ass handed to him by Chief, just essentially the words. And uh, he was decommissioned from the Infinity. It would have been interesting to see, because he's become a senator, and it would have been interesting to see him kind of have some power over that and declare Chief and his team AWOL and sent Locke after him. So they would have declared, uh, you know, Spartan 117 and his team uh, dead on the field or whatever like that and told the public like that, and then Locke's team was a meant to go eliminate them. It would have made a lot more sense in the story aspect, and they probably could have did an interchanging campaign where one mission you play as Chief, the next mission you play as Locke, where he's not far behind Chief, and you see the aftermath, or you kind of see where they're, you're trying to track them down, in other words. I would have preferred an interchanging campaign like that, similar to Halo 2, where you, one minute you are the uh, one minute you are the Master Chief, and then the next minute you are the Arbiter. I remember especially becoming the Arbiter for the first time. That was a highlighting part of Halo 2 because you were like, "Oh my God, I'm elite. What am I going to do? Like, what's the mission? Am I going to be killing aliens? Am I going to be killing Flood? What am I going to do? Am I going to be killing Spartans? You never know." They could have had two completely different campaigns: one fo focusing solely on Chief and his team, and one focusing on Locke and his team. Now, the best aspect of this is that you could have two alternate endings out of it. One where Chief is victorious against Locke, and one where Locke is victorious against Chief. And so, after the player completed both endings, they'd unlock the true ending. And this would result in a classic Halo-styled escape. For example, the Warthog runs in Halo 1 and 3. This would have been an awesome way to finish off the campaign, with both teams working together and surviving together, finding common ground on trying to protect Earth. I still feel that the overarching plot with Del Rio should have took place, and we should have had some sort of uh, cutscene highlighting the events prior to Halo 5. I was kind of lost um, in the first couple of missions because I didn't complete all the Spartan Ops. But I did know about Halsey and the whole arm and who she was with at the start. I did know about that because I did complete Season 1. I didn't complete Season 2 though. But it would have been nice to have this little bit of uh, information available 
uh, for new players and players that didn't complete Spartan Ops like myself. But those are just my quick ideas on what they could have done, but obviously they didn't do them and I'm not really going to play Halo 5 until Forge comes out. Um, the multiplayer is okay, but it's... I don't know, I'm, I'll, that's a different topic for another day. But wrapping up, thank you for watching the video and be sure to stay tuned for any more new content that I produce. I'll see you guys then.